Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, of course, we're going to show you how to go ahead and make a dubstep wobble in Logic Pro X. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go over to our, our instruments. Let's go ahead and go back here. Go to our instruments and make sure that you have an ES2 brought up. Okay, cool. So now that we got one brought up, uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and create a uh, dubstep wobble from scratch so we can use one of the tutorial settings. All you need to do is go to the very bottom right here and search for the tutorial settings. We're going to go ahead and go to Analog Saw. Cool. So as you can see right here, we only have one oscillator, uh, oscillator being used right here. We have three oscillators. We're going to put them all to use, but we're going to do this uh, one at a time. Uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and click on a sine wave and move it to around like three, maybe around, yeah, three quarters of the way out. I'm going to call this about like 1 o'clock. You want to make this look like it's at 1 o'clock right here. OK, cool. Next, what you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and get the oscillators uh, pitched down to about 24, which is going to be exactly two octaves down. Uh, let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. I actually even have this little keyboard brought up right here so we can go ahead and hear how it sounds. So you can't really hear too much. It's going to be kind of like a sub bass sound for right now. You're going to hear a little bit of a, a click there. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and open up our second oscillator over here. And we're going to move this down uh, to the sine wave. And we're going to hit control click over it and select uh, number 14, which is the ring. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds now. So now we got this really uh, buzzy sound, which is uh, what we want. Uh, from here, what we're going to want to do is also uh, make sure that we have uh, mono selected. And bring, bring down the voices a couple of voices, maybe down to like three. Uh, eventually, later on, we're going to do uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit unison and we're going to make this a bit thicker, but we're going to leave it as is for right now. OK, now what we're going to want to do is go to this routing section right here and change the routing, the routing to this very first uh, target right here, which is going to be uh, cutoff one and two. OK, so we're going to move this uh, target to cutoff one and two, as you can see right there. And we're going to move our source to LFO2, which is going to be right here. Okay. What we're going to want to do next is bring this down to about like, you know, maybe one fourth, one sixteenth, something like that. Check this out. We can even just leave it right there at one eighth, and we can start hearing the wobble sound. So now that we have the wobble sound, let's go ahead and shape this a little bit. Let's go ahead and move the blend over here at this filter, move it all the way to the left, and change the cutoff. Okay, so right there sounds fine. Uh, we're pretty much getting a good sound already. We can, we can move the the drive up a little if you want a little if you want a little bit more dirty. I don't want it too dirty though, so that's about fine for me. Awesome. So that's pretty much how you do it. Let's go ahead and add the unison. So it obviously got really loud there. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and drop this down a bit, maybe around here. And what we're looking for is that when we look at our meter here, we don't want it peaking. So before it was peaking. Now we're, now we're right about there, which is fine. From here, we could add more distortion if we want to chunk this up a bit. Right there sounds nice. OK, cool. And finally, if you want to add a little bit of sub bass, all you need to do is open up oscillator 3. Again, move it down to the sine wave. Boom and take this down to maybe around uh, one octave below, right here at 12. And now we got a nice chunky wobble sound. So that's basically how you do it. It doesn't take uh, too many steps. Again, uh, what we did was we started off right here at oscillator one, moved this down uh, to 24, opened up uh, oscillator number two, uh, went down to our sine waves, changed this to ring number one, um, 
if you want to go ahead and do a little bit more, you can obviously uh, move this around a little bit, like right there, and we can hear it. Get a little bit more grit. We opened up oscillator three, dropped this down one octave below to uh, 12 semitones down below. Then we went to our router, opened up uh, cutoff one and two, went down to our source, opened up to uh, source uh, LFO2, and pretty much there you have it. We messed with the blend a little bit, messed with the cutoff a little bit, added a little bit of drive, and that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.